I haven't okay. used a glue stick in a long time. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. Hey, Sea Life, what a fantastic year we've had together. A lot of great victories. It's time to celebrate. Check these out. 2022. Only thing better than 2022 is going to be 2023. Come on. Favorite part of this year has to be Sea Life Canton getting the keys to the new building. And none of that would be possible without you and your giving, your prayers, your generosity. Thank you so much, Sea Life, for all that you've done. Well, this has been an amazing year, and there have been so many great things that have gone on. It's really hard to narrow it down, but I would say one of my favorite things this year has been watching the explosion of our student ministry take place. Every Wednesday night, we have over 700 teenagers gathering at all of our campuses to worship Jesus. And so it has been amazing to see this next generation come along and be able to uh, grow in their relationship with Jesus. I do like to talk to people, not so much the camera. Uh, so just good memories from uh, being on mission with Sea Life. I got, to, I got to see students share their story in, in front of really peers, uh, other high schoolers that were from Guatemala. And then you have people uh, from that youth group in Guatemala asking for prayer uh, afterwards. So you got to see uh, God use students uh, in another country. That was, that stood out. God has been doing some amazing things in the women's ministry this year. At our Bloom Conference, we had over 650 women worshiping and learning from God's Word. And then in women's Bible study, we've had over 500 women involved in the three studies this year. We're so excited about what God is doing. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Hey, you know, from the very beginning of Sea Life, we believed that community service was one of the pillars that we wanted to do. And a couple years ago, we committed an entire week in the summer to what we call Serve. This year, we had over 100 projects and nearly 1,000 people involved in that, from taking snacks to first responders, to fixing a fence in someone's backyard. We did all kinds of stuff this year, and it's all because of the generosity of Sea Life. And we are super excited about what God has done, but even more excited about what He's about to do. My favorite thing of 2023 did I really say 2023? I'm a visionary. I'm already done with 2023. Y'all are just getting started. My favorite thing of 2022 uh, was that we were able to go on mission again with Sea Life overseas. It had been so long since we were able to leave the country and I had the privilege of going with a group to Ghana and to Peru. And it was amazing to see how God worked through the people of Sea Life and to witness how God worked in the people of Sea Life. So I haven't been here the whole year. I've just been here for a few months. But one of those highlights in those two months was the flannel feast that the youth put together on Wednesday night. On all the campuses, there were over 840 kids and over 30 people responded to the gospel for the very first time. It was a very exciting and fun night when we celebrated Thanksgiving. The CGs prepared food and brought it over. It was so beautiful to see the church being the church and serving one another. Can you guys see this? This is amazing. Are you, is this visible? How are they gonna see this? One of my favorite things this year is like talking about how our reach has expanded. And so when we think about our online community, there's something like 270,000 people that saw our videos this year. But the really impressive number is the potential. So they measure things by like audience reach. So this is our sphere of influence. That's up by 20%. And now we have about 250 million people that can see our content. You talk about changing the world. This is one way it's gonna happen. My favorite thing from all of 2022 for the worship ministry was definitely in August when we headed to Dallas uh, on a Sunday evening for our worship night. Uh, and what I love about it is seeing all of our people from all of our campuses gather together as one body of believers is for sure the best part of my entire year. And I cannot wait for worship night 2023. 2022 was an exciting year for our local missions. We were able to partner with Maybank School District with a new ministry called Sharing Success, where we were able to minister to over 75 students by providing school clothing and school supplies. We also launched our 
largest Sharing Christmas event yet. And Sharing Christmas this year was a huge success. And to walk in and out of every one of the prayer rooms and to see people giving their hearts to the Lord as each of the prayer partners were utilizing our new evangelism tool, Three Circles, absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for 2023. I think it's a testimony to our church um, that we set all time records in generosity. Boy, you guys are really getting it done and uh, we're grateful that we're able to be a part. Five, this is so bad, that was so bad. Okay. okay. Hey man, we are so excited what God continues to do through the internship program at Sea Life. This past semester, we had 46 interns partner with us to change the world. And what we're really excited about is our partnership with Criswell University, where if you intern at Sea Life, you have the opportunity to go to Criswell for free. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to share with you guys about Riot. It's VBS, but our own style. We saw 1,200, more than 1,200 in fact, kids across all five campuses, tons of dream teamers, kids lives being changed. It is such a cool thing to see our church show up in such an incredible way to love on kids and share the gospel. So some of my favorite things about what's happening in the preschool ministry, um, just littles as young as two memorizing scripture, that's huge. Preschool play dates, parents getting to connect with each other and um, just seeing their littles make friends. 2022 was too, too good, am I right? Anyone? No? Wow, what an amazing year. God did so many awesome things here. We're getting to create an amazing streaming worship service that is worldwide. Over 14 countries, I think just this last month, have been tuning in to watch this online service and to hear the gospel. And that's amazing. What a blessing from God and a blessing because our church family has been so generous to support that. So thank you guys and can't wait to see what 2023 is gonna hold.